guys, it's Woody Barker, Cumbra brand new episode of my Road to 100 Goals, where we try to get like Remy to 100 Goals, and in the process, try to get to Division 1, or mostly as high as possible, <laughs> because I suck. But like as that, it's on the ball, bit of an editing mishap, by, well, not editing mishap, actually, I pretty much just forgot to hit record, and then I realised I was using the Elgato, and I could scroll back, and I didn't. So, yeah, that kind of failed, but using the French team, as you've probably seen in the last episode. But a bit lucky with Lacazette, but a superb finish by him, nevertheless. Valbrena on the ball, and as you can see, this is a pretty long episode. And the title is called I Hate to Be Losing. Well, that gives one thing away, but do I win or do I lose? You'll find out, and this was actually a superb goal, except for the deflection kind of ruins it for me. Obviously, I'll take a goal every single day of the week, as I know you would, unless it's a hacked goal, as in you physically hack the game, so you score goals. Apart from that, you would say any anything that comes your way, pretty much in FIFA. So, I'll take the ball deflecting off the keeper slightly, I guess. But, again, just moving the ball around really well, passing and moving. I do a really nice piece of skill, actually. I think that's quite overlooked. But like I said, doing really nice skill. Chop wasn't necessary at all, quite poor. However, his clearance was even worse. Holding up the ball well, just trying to get some space. Ever on the ball. Again, just taking it slowly. Um, seeing if anything crops up. Not really. Not really. End up playing it down the middle. Matweedy, I get a little bit of space. And that is a superb, superb finish. Like, literally, he had zero space whatsoever. So the management um, that he got that in was ridiculous. However, the thing that I'm noticing is keepers seem to be conceding near post a lot more since the patch. So I might end up experimenting with that a lot more because it seems like if you're in the box and you put enough power on there and go near post, it will go in. But that's a lovely piece of skill from Remy, just running with the ball. Keeps running, I get, like with Remy, you get the luck go your way, which I did slightly. Valblena on the ball. Gets, I don't think I meant to pass to him, but nevertheless, he scores to make it four goals to one. And it's kind of like, okay, we have insurance now. This is really, really good kind of thing. Like, very, very lucky goal, actually. But Remy's there in the right position, and you're going to take them every day of the week. When the FIFA luck goes your way, you snatch it. When it doesn't go your way, you want to break your controller. <laughs> so it's just the way it goes. But um, maybe I was lucky for this not to be a red card. Because it was definitely a penalty. However, I would say this guy wasn't that good. But does he take it with his keeper? Also, next episode, I believe I will be signing a few different players. Maybe replacing the keeper in the French team and... Buying some BPL players. But he actually does a really nice penalty there. Chips over the keeper. I think that kind of finish is completely pointless. As based on reading wise. You can still read it as well. As it. You can read it better. When a person does a chip. Than if they just smash it down the middle. Me personally. So chipping's pointless. And also if they're not holding the right stick up. The keeper won't save it either. If it's like in the top corner. But Mandanda, just who's saying clear it? Like, I prefer them to do that than control it, because at times on this game, they feel like they need to take a touch, which is suicidal. But that is 4-2. Good finish there, Carlos Vela. When I've tried him out before, he seemed like a pretty good player, actually. Like, however, the BVVA is a very tough league to do squad builders in, unless you've got a lot of money to put, like, Messi, Ronaldo, Sergio Ramos... All of those kinds of players here. But Remy on the ball does a nice piece of running. Does a nice piece of skill. Does one last roulette. Bit of lag. And he slots it into the corner to make it goal number 48. So yeah, and I need to remember to... Yeah, don't, don't, not, not important. Not important. If I forget, sorry. You'll know what I mean. If I remember. If I forget. But again, taking the ball on. Just holding the ball really well. Decent shrimp, actually, there. Well, by Val well, right now, I was quite impressed. But, again, quick passing. Holding up the ball here. And, yeah, again, just doing some nice piece of skills. 
and roulette and into the corner really really nice goal actually like what he's really good at is confined spaces so if you don't close him down or get tight to him he will just get the space on you and will manage to get space and score a goal like that so so far he's actually been a pretty good player for me like in the games that i played with him he's been very good would advise getting him for your french team but i wrote on the ball into griezmann griezmann's been solid so far nothing special about him bit like every single time now here i get insanely lucky i try to give it to whoever my right mid is i forget i do apologize but i get the luck and i score and to be honest i would rather not have the luck when i'm six two up but when a game's going your way a game's going your way so seven two and you probably know <clears throat> why the title is relevant now but like I said, on the ball, I did a fake shot first time, which is a skill move I've been trying to do more. But like I said, on the ball, and I do some nice ball rolls. However, deflected goal, I'm pretty sure. But even so, I should have scored anyway, so I'll semi take it. And, well, in a way, I probably did one ball roll too many. However, it's still a nice goal. Like I said, doing really well. He's probably more of a pub stomper, if you guys know what I mean by that. Sort of, as in, it's a, good, it's a player that you would use to stomp people that aren't good on the game. However, when you come up against the big teams, then he won't do as well. That's kind of what I mean by that. It's not like he's a professional. But Griezmann probably should have scored, but Lacazette just hoofs it into the corner. And I said I've got to hate to... Oh, that's annoying. But well, oh well, it did finish this game 9-2, and... I, he ate me losing before that goal. I had, I had to put that joke in somewhere. I, I apologise. Couldn't resist, but that's pretty good. 20 shots. I believe that's the most amount of shots I've had. However, he got a decent amount, actually, surprisingly enough. But 5,000 coins, as you see, and we're close to winning the cup. So I'll have even more after I win it, I do believe. But using our BPL team now, we keep rotating teams. And this guy had a really good team, actually. Like, however, it's a sort of team that I said was is threatening, but very controllable. Because I'd say Navas doesn't have the greatest final touch in the right wing position. Silva's very good on the ball. Van Persie isn't the fastest, however, he can score like that. So it's a very controllable team. If you play well, you can tr control against it easy. However... It can still threaten you. It's not like you have a Bamiyang and two other really good strikers up front. But again, really good finish by Loic Rummy, making it goal number 49. And I need to remember to do other stuff as well. Not important, sorry if I forget. But yeah, really good through ball. Like, his centre-back clearly didn't do well. Unless it was man controlled when it was poor by him. Because he pretty much put me on side. So, but Remy on the ball doing some nice skills. And, as you hear, the music is beginning to play. But, that's not because of a skill goal. That is because Remy has just scored his 50th goal. I thought it was relevant to put that in. Just because 50 goals is big. We're halfway through the series now. Even though, technically, it should take another... 30, um, 20 episodes, so that should be approximately two, three more months worth of this series, technically. However, I'm not as good as the, on the highest level as I used to be. However, I might end up doing cups more towards the end, just to vary it up. But Coleman on the ball, just holding up the ball well. Elterab doing nice piece of skills, actually, surprisingly. I can skill, I can skill, but he, he does get a lot of luck, to, to be honest, like, uh, there's probably things he could have done, perhaps, when you look in detail, however, yeah, he was a little bit unlucky, I, I literally just got, got the ball in the box and put it in the corner, as you do, it's sort of my trademark finish, but, like, you actually don't see many other players do that finish, which is quite strange, because I find it really effective. However, I do give the ball away in a silly position, but I do get it back, luckily enough for me. I, I, I like to change the editing in that retrospect. 
just to keep people on guard, but Welbeck on the ball, and ball roll finesse in. Easy enough it does to make it four goals too. Welbeck's still, still doing well, but I know when I get to Division 2, I'll probably have to replace Welbeck. But for now, he's a top, top player. And in this whole series, I kind of like to have um, certain players to be... In though Remy's the main focal point, I kind of like to have sort of Remy's psychic. For instance, with my Abarbo series, Muriel was Abarbo's psychic, kind of. So, yeah. And, yeah, okay, that's weird editing by me. So I do apologise a little bit. But I, I think that's okay to keep in the video. Keep, keep the flow going. But, again... We have got against a pretty weak side, to be honest. Like, I don't think this player was actually that bad. However, when you look at his team, there's lots of neg negatives to it. Sorry, can talk. But Vargas, on the ball, actually does a half-decent shot. Fair play to him. In that scenario, unless you wanted to cut back, you could play for the corner or play for the goal. He played for the corner, but gets it back. And Cabela actually does a... Wouldn't say that's a re I would say that's a good volley. However, should Mandanda really be beaten by there? It didn't go in the corner, and I believe it was savable. I believe it was savable. So in the next episode, I'm most likely gonna sell him. To be perfectly honest, but crosses it in. Good header out into Remy, and the counter is on. And with how slow his players are, it's always gonna be an advantage. For instance, I just ran through two. Three, three of his defenders really, really easily, and that's goal number 51. Like, honestly, I just ran through three of his defenders ridiculously easily, unfortunately. So, yeah. That works out. But, pretty bad pass from his part. And, ooh, that was debatable, to say the least. But Valbena on the ball, just holding up the ball as I do. Remy on the ball and go for trying some cheeky skill moves. Probably should not have pulled any of that off, but you know what? I get a strange penalty, and I always have Remy take my penalties just to speed up the series slightly. I think it sort of makes up for the fact that I don't do as well, but I actually misplaced the power slightly. However, ends up saving me because it was so powerful and just enough accuracy that the keeper had no chance of saving it. So pretty nice penalty to make it 52 goals and this episode included a lot of goals for Remy to be honest and again I'm just walking for his defence like you always get the opportunities and then finesse it into the corner to make it 53 goals. Patience seemed to work out well there, I just took a second ball, he dived in and I managed to score. Like those kind of scenarios at times you have to shoot early or shoot late. So, it, it all depends. It all depends, to be honest. But, again, I kept the ball back and I'm mean, just running through his defence now, to be honest. And it was probably hasty by me there, to be honest. But, oh well, I'm saying to be honest way too much. I do apologise. But Mangala on the ball, very, very good player. Remy, just running with it and Lacazette's for a goal and again similar finish to Welbeck but even better ball roll finesse into the corner if you know they're randomly running I would advise doing a ball roll then you've pretty much got an open goal I would say would highly advise doing it and I didn't say to be honest to be honest to be <laughs> joking joking but this guy does indeed rage quit. So that's going to be the end of the episode. So hit like and say one comment below. Do subscribe if you want to see more. It's been Woody Mark and Mafia. See you guys.